All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me over the mower and the wind, but we're gonna turn this ugly yard into a striped machine. So I get a call from a guy who said it's been a few weeks since, his, since he's been able to mow. Uh, he said his mower was broke down and he really, really needs to get it mowed. And normally I don't like to do one-time mows because it really throws off my schedule. But this was in a uh, part of town that I've already uh, have a few properties. So I decided to go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I told him on the phone it was going to be uh, it was going to be expensive. Uh, and he said that that was fine. So the deal we kind of worked out is I showed up and I uh, told him what it was going to be. I texted him and uh, it was $75 is what I charged him to mow this yard. And it took us 25 minutes to do it. Uh, that was mow, trim, edge, everything. And that's kind of with me kind of running the camera a little bit as well. I just thought this would be a good video to make to kind of uh, share my opinion on bagging grass. I get a lot of comments about uh, bagging and things like that. And it's not necessary. And I just kind of wanted to talk, talk a little bit about that in this video. Okay, so let me go over what we're using on this yard and what height we're cutting at. We are using a Walker Mower MT GHS 23 horse uh, bagging system. Um, this is my favorite mower by far. Uh, this mower I can do uh, anything with. Uh, right now we are cutting at four inches and we, we do end up double cutting this yard, but we necessarily didn't have to. Um, with, with really, really thick grass, um, sometimes I'll double cut it, even with the walker, just to give it a little bit crisper uh, look. Um, you know, a lot of times when you're, when you're mowing thick stuff, um, you know, you, you'll leave a straggler here or there, and that's, no matter what mower you're using, that happens a lot. And so, one of the reasons why I like using the walker and I like bagging grass is, as you can see when we're mowing here, you know there is no mess there is no cleanup uh, we don't have grass all over the flower beds we don't have grass all in the street we don't have grass on the driveway and a lot of times when you're using a discharge mower you know you kind of have to plan out what you're doing you have to plan out that you know hey I don't want to blow grass in the street so uh, I'm going to turn my chute this way and yeah a chute blocker works great for that but then you end up having to go back over it because you know you're just basically throwing the clippings down on the ground and it looks like a clump it's not really a clump but it looks like a clump a lot of people call them wind rows um, i don't like those either so you end up having to go over it again anyway um, to me it's just uh, it, it makes my life a lot easier um, especially when you have employees especially when you're not the one riding the mower all the time um, you don't have to worry about that you know i don't I, I don't think I've ever had a customer call me and say, hey, you blew grass in my flower bed and you didn't blow it out. You blew grass on my tree and you didn't blow it off. Uh, my sidewalk looks like crap because there's grass all over it. Uh, things like that. I've never gotten those calls. And I know um, I know a lot of times, you know, bagging grass is kind of, it's kind of frustrating sometimes because you have to dump your grass. It's not for everybody. But for me, it works out really, really well because I do have a place to dump my grass. And it is free, and it just works out really good. It's a mile, mile and a half from my house. It's not a big deal. The way I usually work it is, you know, whenever we need to dump, I'll drive the truck home that night, you know, that has the grass in it. And, you know, either I'll do it that night or in the morning, I'll go dump the grass, bring it back. No big deal. It doesn't cost me anything just to, you know, 10 or 15 minutes out of my day. And, you know, like I said, I like to do it. That way I'm not paying employees to go dump grass. And it just works out really, really well. So like I said before, I did charge $75 for this yard. Um, the guy has already paid me. He paid with a credit card. He actually gave me a $6 tip as well. So I actually made $81 on this job. And to me, that's pretty good for 25 minutes. Um, you know, there's a lot of times I don't like to do one-time cuts, like I said before. But on the perfect circumstances, I'll take them on. Uh, this is a neighborhood I would like to have more properties in. 
Um, so, you know, I don't mind showing up for 30 minutes and letting everybody see, you know, what we're doing and kind of see the work work that we do. And if they, you know, if they need lawn care, they might give us a call. Um, this guy here, um, he made it clear right up front. This was a one-time deal, but um, what I did was, you know, we mowed it. We got looking really, really good. I sent him a picture, and I told him we were all done. And then I just told him, hey, um, you know, a weekly mow would be this price. You know, if you're interested, just let me know. Um, you know, it's just something that I, I like to do. And honestly, uh, because I I like doing lawn care so much, I like doing these yards. I, you know, like I said, it has to be the perfect circumstance. Um, I don't want to go to a a crappy lawn and mow two feet of grass and I don't know what's underneath the grass and I'm gonna mess up my mower or things like that that's not the case with this with this house here it's not the case with this this job um, I knew I knew exactly what this job was when I took it I knew the neighborhood and I knew that it was gonna be a pretty nice lawn so that's why I decided to go ahead and do it and like I said I enjoy turning lawns like this into um, a nice looking lawn, a nice striped lawn. And, you know, a lot of people don't, don't really care for the stripes. I do. Um, if you follow my channel at all, you'll know that, you know, I like the stripes. I think it, uh, it adds a little element to a customer that, uh, might not be used to stripes and, you know, might set them apart from their neighbors. Um, I think that's a big deal, honestly, especially in, uh, neighborhoods like this when, uh, all the yards look pretty nice and you know a lot of neighbors they want the best lawn on the block and uh, a lot of times that that equates to stripes so um, that's just something I like to do and